This exercise is about creating image maps in Dreamweaver. Image maps are discrete areas within an image that are clickable, making it possible for you to go to different pages within your website. I have a composite image here and you can see it's made up of different products. So what we would like to be able to do with this is we'd like to be able to isolate these individual products and make it so that we could go to the HTML page that are associated with those products so the person can get right to what it is they're looking for. If I go over here to this file you can see that I have a series of blue areas. These blue areas are actually image maps. I created these image maps so that I could link to those pages. This is what we're about to do. So I'm going to go back to the my image and we're going to come back in and we're going to create these image maps. So the first thing that we want to do is want to make sure that our image is selected and when we have it selected down at the bottom here you're going to notice that we have a series of tools. We have the uh, pointer tool, rectangle tool, the circle hotspot tool, and the polygon hotspot tool. We're going to use these tools to create areas that we're going to use to isolate these different products and create links to their HTML pages. So let's first take a look at what we got. We have one, two, three, four, five, six series of these collars. So we're going to actually build a hotspot for these collars. And then we have these Zamac plaques. There's three little Zamac plaques down the bottom here. We're going to be building a hotspot for that. And then we have some caps up here. We're going to be building a hotspot for these caps. We also have different caps over here. And we have some turned wood, turned and painted wood items. So each one of these areas we'd like to put a hotspot around and link to those pages. So if somebody comes in here and needs to look at these caps, they can just click right on this and go to that page. It's a very easy thing to do and it's very convenient for the person who's coming into your site. Okay, so now that we know what it is we're trying to achieve, how do we do it? Well, we have the tools down here and it's a very simple process to just select a tool. In this case, I'm selecting the polygon tool because I'm going to be working on this area here and I'm going to have to carve this up pretty good. And in order to do that, the polygon tool is the best one to do it. So I come in here and I start by clicking to place my point. And I get this little message, which you'll see time and time again as I do this. It's just telling me that it wants me to remember to put some alternate text in, and I'm going to do that. So I'll hit OK to get rid of it. I now come down a little bit, and I click to place another anchor point. And if you look at this and you know anything about Adobe Illustrator, this is very much like Illustrator. It's really a series of anchor points and line segments. And I'm just going to click and move, and then click and move. And I'm going to build these line segments around my product until I encircle the entire group of items within that product. Keep coming down. And what you want to remember to do is when you get down to the bottom here, this is where I started. Just like in Adobe Illustrator, to make a complete shape, you got to click. So now that I've done that, I've created a complete shape. This is my first hotspot. I'm going to come over here and grab this hotspot pointer tool because I want to show you a couple of things that you're going to find useful. Number one, this hotspot tool can give you the ability to do some modifications. Like for instance, I can move that shape. I hit Control Z to put it back. I can also come in here and click on any of these points and I can move that point. So if I have a situation, control Z to put it back, if I have a situation where I've done something that I don't like the shape, I can modify the shape once I have it built. It's very convenient. Now, once I have this selected, over here, let's take a look real quickly at what this is. We have the area tag, and then we have an attribute and a value. And the first attribute is shape, and its value is polygon. So what that's saying is the area, which is our first hotspot, has a shape which is equal to a polygon which is right there and then of course all these points are the points that we use to create that polygon so that is one complete hotspot now what we want to do is we want to add a few more parameters to this a few more attributes and values so we click on this and if you look down here we have the link the target and the alternate text each one of these three, the link, target, and alternate, each one of them are attributes and we can give them values. So the first value will be the link. Let's click on the link, browse the file, and I happen to know that this one is the collars. So I'm going to click on collars and I'm going to hit OK. 
And now you'll see down here that I have an href attribute, which equals collars.html. So I'm adding to this area tag with attributes and values for this link. Now I want to put a target in. The target I generally use is blank, so I'm going to click and choose blank. And if you take a look, I have my attribute target equals blank. And then in the alternate, I'm going to click in the alternate and I'm going to type in colors. And now I have a tag, an attribute, and a value. And this hotspot is done. So if I go File, Save, and I come over here and I click Preview Debug in Browser, and I preview it in Chrome, I can come over top of my link, and there it is. So the first one is done. We're going to do one more over here, and then I'm going to show you how to create one using the rectangle tool. And then this uh, exercise will be over. So I'm going to come over here and click on the polygon tool again. And I'm going to click. And once again, I get this reminder. I hit OK. And I'm going to come and I'm going to build myself a shape around these Zamac plates. Keep coming around till I completely surround these Zamac plates. It's very simple, really. You just got to make sure you put them in a place that you like. And there you go. I'm at the one where I started. I click and now I have a complete shape. I can get my tool here, the pointer hotspot tool, and I can come in here and I can fool around with these points if I want. If I want to make them look a little bit better, I can drag them around a little bit. Okay, you get the idea. So now we basically have our shape done and we're going to create our links, our target, and our alt, and then this one will be finished. Click on the uh, browse. I'm going to come down to the bottom here to Zamac Plate, which I know happens to be the right one. Click on it, hit OK. Now, target is going to be blank. And the alternate text, we're going to call this Zamac Plate. I'm going to go File Save. And we'll go up to the browser. Let's preview it once more in Chrome. And now we have two. We should have two. There's collar and let's see what the other one does Zamac plate so you see it's working perfectly so we now have two hotspots that we built you will build the third one the same way but I want to show you another one I want to show you the rectangle so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click on the rectangle and I'm gonna drag a rectangular shape over top of these plastic lids and again it's gonna remind me so I'm just gonna hit OK with this what we're now going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to find our links and this one jars and caps I think is what it is let's try that and see and then a target is blank and the alternate is I'm gonna call the alternate lids and file save preview in Chrome and there's jars and caps although that is not the page that I want so what I will do is I'll come back in here and I will redirect this and this is how you redirect and I believe it's plastic and metal lids there's the one that we want and okay so you see it's really easy to come in here and change this if you have something that you've directed the wrong way you go to file save and we're going to click on preview in Chrome and let's see if this is the right link and we click on it and it is so there you have it you basically now know how to create a polygon hotspot and direct it to a link. If you have any problems redirecting it, you just go back in, rebrowse for file, and you can reselect it to anyone that you need to. Or you can come in here with this pointer hotspot tool and you can move or click, click and change the shape. Control Z. So now you know how to make these hotspots Let's see you try to make one for this shape up here and the shape down here.